Hey guys and girls, it's Miss Griggs, and this is our last worksheet for this week, and it's a fun one. It's reviewing how we were talking about our five senses. So if you remember, we were talking about things that we can see, hear, taste, and smell. So this is going to be dealing with that. So you're going to open up your my, uh, or I'm sorry, your your turn practice book, and you're going to turn to page 49, 49 in the black circle at the bottom, and that is where you will find this worksheet. Okay, like always, I'm sure you guys are getting to be professional at it. We're going to put our name at the top. You're going to do it in pencil. You're going to write it next to the word name on the line, all your letters sitting on the line. You're going to have only the first letters be the capitals and all the rest are lowercase. All right, so practice writing that with your pencil. Always good practice to write your name. Okay, after that, um, I only colored in some of the page, some of the pictures and I'll explain why. Because what we're looking for today is we are looking for pictures where the people in the pictures are using one of their five senses and they might be using more of them so they're going to be using their eyes to see their nose to smell their hands to touch uh, their tongue or their mouth to taste and their ears to hear all right so let's go ahead and look at each picture I want you to get out your orange crayon there's three oranges in our crayons if you're using your crayon box you just pick whichever one it doesn't matter I picked orange because it's a nice bright color Okay, and we're going to circle the pictures that have someone using their senses, and we'll talk about that. So if I'm looking at this first picture here in the apple row, I see a boy, I see a bunny, I see a tree, I see some snow, okay? So the boy is looking, there's your clue, looking out the window, and he's seeing all these things happening. He's watching the snow fall, he's watching that little rabbit run by, okay? So what do we use to look with or to see with? We use our eyes. So he is looking with his eyes. So he is definitely using one of his five senses in this picture. So we're going to circle it because that's what we're looking for today. Examples of that. All right, in my next picture, I see a family, maybe a dad, a mom, and a little girl, and they look like they are petting a little lamb. So if they're petting, like if you were petting your dog, your pet, you or your cat, you would be using your hands. And if we use our hands, we know that we are touching things, feeling things. Touch is one of our five senses. So we're going to go ahead and circle that one because they are using the sense of touch. Okay. If I come over here, if you know what this is, this is a rake. We use it to in our garden or to pick up leaves sometimes. What does that have to do with our five senses? Not much, okay? No one is in the picture. There are no people in the picture. That's one clue. And nobody's seeing anything, touching anything, hearing anything, smelling anything, or tasting anything. So this guy's got to go. Sorry, Mr. Rake. You're out of here. All right. So we have a boy seeing something with his eyes, and then we have a family touching something soft with their hands. All right. Two senses there. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next row where there's a star at the beginning. Okay, I see my bar of soap. Are there any people here? No, I don't see any people. Okay, no one's touching the soap, no one's smelling the soap, no one's seeing the soap, no one's eating the soap, I hope, anyway. Okay, none of our senses are being used. Okay, we're not hearing the soap bubbles or anything like that. There's nobody around it. Sorry, Mr. Soap, you're out of here. Not today. Okay, my next picture, I have a boy. He's taken a bite out of an apple, and you can see it's in his mouth. He's chewing it. So he is using the sense of taste. He's using his mouth to taste the delicious, juicy apple. So go ahead and circle that because that is definitely one of our five senses. Okay, next to him I see a little girl and she's leaning her ear towards the radio where music is coming out. So if she's using her ear, she can hear the music with her, hear, with her ear and hearing is one of our five senses. So we're going to circle that one. All right, so we've got seeing, touching, tasting, hearing. That's four of them so far. Let's see what's going on over here. In the Christmas tree row here, I see a girl. She is leaning towards with her nose to that flower 
to smell it. So she is definitely using one of her five senses, which is the sense of smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that one with my orange crayon. She's using her nose to smell. Okay, I see a sock. Is the sock doing anything? The sock might be stinky, but we don't know because no one's smelling it, no one's touching it, no one's seeing it, tasting it, blah, okay? No one's hearing the sock. The sock does not belong today. That is not anyone showing use of their five senses. Okay, my last one, I love this one. I love the beach. I have two friends here or a brother and a sister and they are building what looks like kind of a little sand castle. They've got a little door here going on. So they could be using a lot of their senses, like I say, but the one that they're using the most is their hands to use touch, to touch the sand and to smooth it and to feel it, okay? They can be using their eyes to see what they're building, all that good stuff. They might hear the waves at the beach. They might smell the salt of the ocean. Okay, we use a lot of our senses all the time, but the one that I think that they're using the most right here is their sense of touch. All right, so I'm gonna circle that one and then I'm gonna go through and I'm going to see if um, we can talk about these again one more time. All right, so we have seeing, we have touching, we have tasting, we have hearing, we have smelling, and we have touch again. So we used all our five senses and we used touch twice, okay. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that, and I can't wait to see page 49 tomorrow. Thank you.